So here we have the Esla T8, which we call the tall on our Kixlet Alaska website. This is for people six feet and taller. So I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna give you a rundown really quick of transporting it and how it folds down. And then we also have this set up to run a dog so I can give you a run through on that. This will take less than four minutes. Okay, so to transport it in your vehicle, however you are going to do it, if you need it to lay flat, stand in the front here and then you loosen up these bolts in the back, the wing nuts. They just come undone. So the thing you need to watch out for is that these will come off. So if you go too far, you're going to lose your washer um, and wing nut into the snow. Um, it'll probably happen, but just to be aware of that. So then you push them forward and the seat lifts up. If it's a little loose, just, uh, or isn't going to come undone, just loosen it up a bit. And then what you wanna do is from underneath here, pull up and if you need to put your foot on a runner to hold that and then you can also wiggle the handlebar a little bit to loosen it up and the seat will come up like this so also important note you definitely want to tighten these up before you go anywhere so you don't lose them and show up and not have these so then the, the other thing to note is there's a reflector on every kick sled it folds in so you want to fold that into transport Speaking of reflectors, your kick sled is going to come with two reflective stickers for you to put on the kick sled wherever you want. Up here, down here, wherever. So, to lay it flat, put your foot on the runner, and then you just push it down. And then you're ready to go. These weigh right around 20 pounds. It's really actually quite lightweight. So that is how to transport it. So, setting it up, same deal. You just got to... Once again, loosen these and push them forward like that. I like to stand in the front and put my foot on the runner, grab the handlebar, wiggle it towards you, and then line it up, push the seat down. And there's a little square head on this and this you just need to line up and then start tightening it. These seats can hold over 300 pounds. What the manufacturer, Esla, told me was that they put, I think, over 300 kilos on theirs. And the only problem they ran into was that no one could push it. <laughs> Did not collapse, but no one could push it. So the other day we put this um, dog bridle together, DIY style. So this is always people's second question. How do I run my dog? So you get a rope and wrap, connect it with this locking carabiner and you want to attach it to the back here. And then what we did was we swapped out the top bolt here for an eye bolt. And then you run the rope through there and then the dog, or dogs, you could attach two dogs if you have the right leash attachment. And that's where they go. And it just pulls the power from the back of the sled and provides a stable and safer way to run the dogs. Um, and that's, that's how you do transporting your kick sled. And then when there's no dog, like right now, I have been just doing this so it doesn't run under the runners. And then you're all set and ready to go.